G'day YouTube, this is just a quick video to show you guys how to upgrade from Linux Mint 19 to 19.1. Now, full disclaimer, this is uh, Linux Mint 19.1 is still in beta mode, it's not really had an official release yet, so don't use this as your main daily driver, just for a bit of a tinker and a play around with. So I've got all the steps here, step 1 is uh, of course to update all your repositories and upgrade there, sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade, and uh, I won't do that one because it will take a few extra seconds for the video, but next up is the infamous sed command, so step 2. So if we are to copy this one in here, sudo sed input then from, this basically means from Tara, uh, Linux Mint 19, to Tessa, Linux Mint 19.1, and pop that into the sources list information there, hit enter, throw in your password, now you, you'll you expect to, for it to be that way, so there's no actual output that's going to happen from that said command. And the same could be said for the very next uh, command here, so step 3, which is fairly much the same command, just a little bit extra there, and uh, hit enter there, so hopefully I'll remind myself to post all these uh, these these commands in the bottom of the video description there as well. And then once that's complete, next up, do a uh, another update, just like first step. Now I've already done that so I know that it's working and it, it might say uh, there is a list of packages upgradable but it won't really do much. That's fine. Then move on to step 5 and I'll just copy and paste here. So step 5, let's see what happens. Pseudo dist upgrade. In fact I've already done this and if I were to open up another terminal somewhere along here I can actually prove that to you guys. So get that terminal to load, and just in terms of uh, actually wrong command, we need to do lsb release to get the release information obviously there, and you'll see that uh, there we go. So it was already 19.1 Tessa even before I started the video, but uh, tried and tested commands. From this point, you'll see a few packages that are upgrading. In fact, you may see some that are upgrading daily. So just to, just to get your Linux Mint 19.1 fix, uh, to see what it will be like in the future, uh, just keep upgrading sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade, that kind of thing. Now, some of the big changes in Linux Mint, such as the Cinnamon desktop interface, so this stuff down here, which Cine uh, Linux Mint technically you could say owns, they've created it. It is with other distributions, but Linux Mint is uh, champion in it, just due to the fact that they've created it, and it is the main desktop environment here. It might not look like much. A lot of people say that, a lot of people that uh, are from a non-Linux environment say it looks too Windows XP-ish, and that's probably the case. The beautiful thing about Linux Mint 19.1 is a whole overhaul of the desktop environment. It'll look a lot more like Windows 7, 8, 10, and uh, even Ubuntu and onwards there. So it's pretty exciting times for, for what's happening here. Just wait for some updates. You'll see it's pulling from the Tessa repositories there as opposed to the old school Tara ones. And yeah, so just a little bit of fun, guys. I'd probably recommend doing it in a virtual machine. Like I said, definitely not in your main daily PC, laptop, whatever it is, driver that you do use. So I appreciate your time, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.